Hello, welcome to this video on how to insert a bill of material on your drawing and also references to components. This is our pneumatic circuit on which we want to include a bill of material. So we'll need to zoom out a bit. We'll go view, zoom less, and we'll move this a bit on the side. And we have a feature in Automation Studio. If you go to Ohm tab, BOM, and then you actually make a section like that which will automatically insert the bill of material. Let's zoom back to all components to include the bill of material. So you see now we have a list of all the items on our drawing. This bill of material is fully dynamic, therefore if you add component, it will automatically be added to the list. And if you erase some, they will automatically be removed from the list as well. You see some of the items are underlined blue, which means there's an hyperlink to it. If you hit the control key and you click on this line, it will bring you automatically to the component on your schematic. Some of the, let me just zoom again here. As you can see, some in the list are not underlined blue, meaning there's no hyperlink possible with these items. The reason is because you have more than one. The software would not know to which one to point to. This happens when you group in your bill of material by component name. For example, if you would remove all the grouping feature, you will have a list of all the items, then you can do an hyperlink on each of them. So how we can modify this BOM, let's zoom in a bit more on the build material. If we double click on it, now we have access to the settings of the build material. So let's move the window a bit. You see now we have the font for the title. If you want to put the title bold and a different color, blue for example. Okay, same thing with the content. If you go to the filter section, this is where you can decide which information you want to display on your bill of material. For example, now we have the line and exhaust, which I don't want to have on that list. So if I uncheck these two items, apply, you see now they just went away. Same thing if you go to the field section, you can decide which of all these fields you want to display on your bill of material. In the option tab, you see now we have grouped them by name. Therefore, if you remove the grouping feature and you apply, you'll see that now you have a list for each individual component with an hyperlink for all these components as well. Okay, let's double click on it. And now I'm going to also remove the pneumatic pressure source. There's a bill of material, and I'm going to go back and put the option to group by name. Okay, so this is how you can configure your bill of material. For an example, if I double click on this cylinder, and I want to change the name to reflect the name I have on my trainer, for example, on hardware equipment, you can double click on it. You go into the identification tab. You see I have double acting cylinder written. Let's put the exact same name that is on my trainer. CYL-2400, for example. I'm going to check this box because I want the name to also be displayed on my drawing. So you see now I have my CYL-2400 on my schematic. And automatically in my bill of material, you see that we have now CYL2400 as one of the component names. Let's close the library and now we're going to insert some references on my drawing. Okay, so let's zoom it less. So now I can go into the Ohm tab. Reference. You know that my cursor has changed now. And when I over some of the components, you see they are automatically selected in blue. So let's say I want to put a reference on this cylinder. You click once on it, and then you just pull 
you reference wherever you want. For each component like that, you can put a reference on your drawing. And if you want that reference to be displayed on your bill of material, it's simple. You simply double click on the bill of material, go into filters, you go to the field section, and here we will, we will find the field called reference. So we're going to put that field in the list, and I want that this field be the first one on my list. When I apply, you see now I have a reference for each of these components. You see that we have reference number three, which is not identified on my bill of material. The reason is because we have multiple variable treadle valve that are on my drawing. So the software does not know which one to pinpoint to. So again, if you ungroup, if I click twice here, I go to the fields option and I group by nothing. You see now my three is right here. Okay, so if you give each of these components a different name, obviously they will be displayed on that bill of material one line per different component name. Now if we go back to the references, the references are automatically configured to be displayed the way you want. For example, if you right click on the page, you go document properties, we have all our standards and we have one standard for reference. So if you go over here, you'll see this is what you want to change. So let's click on this icon and here you can change the default setting for your reference. So you see if you want, you can select to have a square instead. You want to have the adjustment to automatically fit the text. You may want to have a bigger square, no background color, or maybe yellow. And once you've set it up here, you apply. Then once you close, you see they automatically have changed. And if you want to change the number on this one, you simply click twice on it. You see where it says number three? Let's put 15, for example. And now you're going to have number 15. If you want to change one reference and not all of them, you simply click twice on it. And then you're going to have the choice to change only this one. And if you close, you see sim only this one has changed now. So this is how we can change the references, insert them, and change the, sa the standard for the reference. We saw the bill of material which we can include on our drawing. And by the way, if you do not want to show the hyperlink on the bill of material, you go to your view tab and you uncheck hyperlinks. We also have the capability of inserting much more complete report if you want. If you add a new document, you see we have report. And on these report, you can select if you want a bill of material, purchase list, tag list that have been predefined for you. For example, if we go BOM, you see now we have a new document. If you go in your project explorer here, you have a new document called BOM. Now, if you want, you go to the report tab, you go export, and then you can give it a name that you want. So let's put bill of material. And that TXT file can be also opened in Excel, for example. Or you can simply select a portion of it, right click, copy selection. You can open Excel and simply paste your selection like that and then you can automatically adjust the column if you want. So using the report feature gives you much more possibilities to export and also have multiple fields and even have a sum of prices, purchasing and discount, but it will not be on your schematic like the first BOM that we saw. Thank you for your time and I invite you to watch the other training videos. Thank you.